Hello, Jay. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to PDS. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Jay is our returning data engineer intern. Just accepted our return offer. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Thank and, you, thank uh, you, appreciate thank it. Thank you, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, so tell us about uh, a little bit about ourselves. So I come from University of Waterloo, mm -hmm. and a lot of the work that I've done is just in computer science. I've done like six internships previous to this. I've just been working in data, and then a course works help with that too. And yeah found it a great environment to be at Statsik. That is actually quite uh, strange for me. I, I, I didn't hear about Waterloo before I was in tech. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After joining tech, I feel like, oh, there are so many Waterloo graduates. Right, yeah, yeah. And you mentioned there are, you did uh, six internships yeah. and you are an undergrad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So as part of like the Waterloo program, uh -huh. uh, a lot of the stuff is just making sure you get like internships and it's part of like the, the degree requirements. So uh -huh. it kind of forces you to find internships on uh -huh. your own. Uh, I mean, Waterloo helps with that process as well, but oh. like, it's pretty nice to have that experience, especially as an undergrad going into full-time. When you talk about internships, how long are the internships? Yeah, usually they range for four months. That's typically like 16 weeks, but it's subject to change. It's I also like a so full-time internship, right? Not yeah, full-time the... internship, yeah, yeah. So six full-time internships across many different companies yeah. from an undergrad. Yeah. So by the time you graduate, you already have more work experience than most people uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely an advantage to have uh -huh. that amount of internships, for sure. But yeah, uh, it's like just part of the Waterloo process. Nice. So I, I first had a strong impression about Waterloo is when I joined Meta. And in the bootcamp for mm -hmm. people who just joined Meta, I think about one third of the new grad actually came from Waterloo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for Meta especially, yeah, Waterloo is like one of the good good target schools, so yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think companies who look for pragmatic engineers, data scientists, and analytics, Waterloo is a great place. That is indeed special, but I have two questions. Mm -hmm. One, what do you think about internships being a requirement, like going into the school? Mm -hmm. Do you know this, or did you just uh, discover this, uh, you know, in the program, and what do you feel? And the second question is, how did you actually get the internships? Because you know, as an undergrad, it's hard, especially when, when you had a zero internship, yeah. it would be hard to get the first one, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm going to kind of answer these, like, kind of both combined, but, mm -hmm. like, Waterloo is, like, very special in this case that they have a very strong in the co-op program. Uh, a lot of companies, like you said, for example, Meta would come to Waterloo and just have, like, a selective amount of positions open just for Waterloo students. Oh. So, there's a bunch of companies that go and do that as well. And so Waterloo helps with that prog uh, process as well. Uh, but like the main thing with the internships that I find is like, it's not about finding six internships that you know will progress your career, but it's like, you also have the opportunity to know like what you don't like, for example. Oh. So being able to take an internship and then you finding out, oh, I don't actually like doing this work. So instead I'm not gonna go into this field. And so it gives you a chance to like really explore that. And then it kind of defines what a person might do full time mm -hmm. and like kind of accepts like a little bit of flexibility in that scenario as well where I feel like maybe a lot of people go into full time not knowing what to truly enjoy so that that helps with that process as well so like it, it's like a kind of win-win situation coming to Waterloo in in the scenario that we get the experience and then we also get to find out. I'm trying to think about what is the count of this because six internships, each of that minimum four months, mm -hmm. you are going to get two years of education out of the four years, right? Like in other universities, you pay for four years of tuition, you get four years of classrooms. What are you actually <laughs> or source those two years of data education to companies? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it's still extended in a sense. We still do our traditional eight terms, mm -hmm. but usually when people are off for the summer, we might take an internship there. Oh. And like the way it's scheduled is like, Maybe I think we take like an extra like four months compared to like a traditional degree. So as a new grad, uh, how do you feel about the amount of knowledge you learned from in classroom and in internship? Like what is the? I think it's a great combination, especially since like certain classes you can take like the applications that you learned and just see it be done in the real world. Mm -hmm. uh, and I saw this especially here in this last internship at Statsic where a lot of the, like one of the courses I took was like a design concept course where we go through like system architecture and then to see those type of discussions being placed here no. and just seeing that kind of go through and then kind of seeing like that 
the going from the classroom to real life it's it was pretty nice so like it, it's like a strong fundamental not everything obviously is going to be used in the real world but like uh-huh. it's nice to see that some can at least transition nice okay uh then uh since you mentioned static that is my last question you did a lot of internships which, which companies uh yeah so the first two companies were like two smaller companies in oh. canada one was kind of like local business and then the other one was an insurance company mm-hmm. third one was at wish the e-commerce site yeah. and then fourth one was at gts which is a kind of training firm and then fifth and sixth were here at static yeah then with this uh, internship experiences and the degree from waterloo you are able to choose you know apply for big tech as well mm-hmm. uh, then why did you choose to accept our offer and uh, join the startup i mean like Again, this comes back to like having the internship capability. So like when I came here initially, it was just to learn and grow. But I really saw the opportunity to do a lot of impact here at Static, <laughs> especially in a startup environment. It is very nice to being able to have like larger scope that maybe at big tech it might be more for a senior role mm-hmm. and for an intern to come on and then just being able to go like dive deep straight into the deep end essentially uh, it's pretty nice to have and then there's a lot of great support a lot of great people mm-hmm. a lot of people coming from big tech in itself so like being able to learn from that and then there's also like accessibility as well where maybe at a big tech company you might not be able to talk to directors or vps but here i could talk to vj with ceo like mm-hmm. just go up to him or like go up to like product leads or tech engineering leads and just get to pick their brains about things and concepts so it's like quite nice to learn from that as well nice so it's uh, about the growth and yeah, the yeah. experience it's exactly it's the growth and the learning opportunity and just being able to take in a lot of impact and responsibility nice. it's, it's like why i chose that cool so what is your advice for a younger version of yourself especially like people who didn't join waterloo that's the majority of people right then what is your advice to someone who are about to become a new grad and start looking for a job what is your advice yeah i would uh, primarily say that look a lot of life is just going to be tops and turns you just kind of have to hustle through that but at the end of the day just figure out what you want to do and what you enjoy because that's what you're going to be doing for a day to day so might as well figure out something that you enjoy and just making sure that you can continue to grow and learn nice thank you yeah cool cool yeah, cool welcome back thank you thank you yeah. bye